hello and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is claudia nari and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection or anything that you want to talk about uh we've been on a series and it's been a, a lot of fun the series has allowed me to show you what is in my collection we are on the ending of the series so we're going to talk about uh what do we have left we're going to talk about my spicier fragrances, my woodier fragrances, also niche fragrances. And uh, I might throw in some layering. I might talk about what I use to layer. If these things are interesting to you, then please stay tuned. If you are just now catching this video and you wanna catch up on all the videos that I've talked about my collection, it is in the description under full fragrance collection. Hit the playlist, catch yourself up. Uh, so that way, if you have any questions about anything that I've reviewed and you want to have an individual video on it, you can tell me which one and we can talk about it. So on that note, stay tuned. Let's keep going. Okay, we have made it to our spicy fragrances. Uh, so let's jump into those. My very first one is going to be, uh, hold on, let me get it focused for you, it is going to be Rand, Ramdon Night. For this one here, you're going to get date, uh, spicy notes, solar notes, and argan oud. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Absolutely gorgeous to me. One of the more spicy, uh, cool weather fragrances by Josette. Josette is known for their uh, gourmand notes. So this one was a, was outside of the box, but a really good one that was outside the box. My next one is going to be Desert Suave. And with this one here, you're going to get dates, sesame seed, orange blossom, cardamom, cedar, mandarin orange, and rose. For this one here, I would truly say you have to like cardamom, right? You have to, because that spicy kind of peppery note uh, can become aromatic on someone, can become kind of must, musty-like on, on your skin. Uh, this is not a fragrance to wear in the heat. I know that people do, but in my preference, it is not a fragrance that I would personally wear in the heat. Not saying that it can't be done, I just wouldn't recommend it. My next one is going to be Gucci Guilty. Uh, this is Absolute Perfume. I, this is the Odie Bugatti. This one is so good to me. Oh, I love this one. It is Blackberry, Pink Pepper, Bergamot, uh, cypress, Bulgarian rose. It has a bit of woodsy notes to it, so I really could have put it with my woody fragrances. Uh, vetiver, and it's a patchouli. There's like a sexy scent that comes off of you when you wear Gucci Guilty Absolute Perfume. I really believe this can be worn by men and women. I know that there's one for men, but I think this one really could be worn unisex. My next one is going to be Lance by Tatiana Terenzi. With this one, you're gonna get this Star Nice type fragrance, right? Uh, there is a bit of green tea and grapefruit in it, but I think that Star Nice spice is so strong and predominant that it overpowers it for me. Um, there's like a jasmine, there's a fig. This was very creative when they made this one. They put so many notes and layers to this fragrance because the base turns out to be like vanilla flower, vanilla, vanilla absolute. So you get like a little gourmand, but not too much with it in the base. And then there's a sandalwood dry down. This one here is a really good one um, to try out if you're into strong, uh, heavier fragrances. Now let's get into my more cinnamon ones. This is Crimson Rocks. 
this was one that was recommended for me to try out uh and i loved it <laughs> i and i always say i am not a big armorage person right that that line is a little hard for me to sometimes wear but this one was not this one was uh an, an easy one for me to wear uh and again let me show it to you uh crimson rocks and it has cinnamon pink pepper honey rose uh oak cedar and vetiver in it uh to me i love that honey cinnamon mix kind of gave me almost like a holiday fragrance like i can see this being worn around thanksgiving or christmas in the holiday season my next one is going to be bow hot tidy high tea this is another one by back um by body shop and I always say that um, I don't really like to bring these out because I don't think you can even find them anymore. But this was the spicy, woodsy one. So it had like a lot of spices and woods in it. Uh, the spices were um, carrot seed, bark, cinnamon, uh, incense, patchouli. The more uh, woody notes you would get would be there. Uh, it was like a, like a, a pine note and I don't really know how to explain that to you but almost like if you go into the forest or the woods freshly after it rained that that smell that you smell in the air that's like the backdrop to this not really piney so I don't want to say pine tree uh, but this again is a you know these are the ones that I take out in cool weather so this is our like holiday scents for me my next one, I only have it in a 10 mil. Uh, I just haven't got myself around to getting this one. This is Alexandria 2, right? Um, with Alexandria 2, what you mostly get is spices. Uh, you mostly get like a lavender, a cinnamon note, um... There's a bit of apple and cedar in it. It's rosy, so there's a, some floral um, aspects to it and an amber. I'm gonna eventually buy the full bottle. I just have not yet gotten the full bottle, but I'm gonna get the full bottle. Uh, but because it's such a strong scent, having it in the 10 mil, doesn't really um and i want to say this might be a little bit more than 10 mil it could be 15 mil it doesn't take away from it because it's going to take me a while to actually wear that i only wear it in the more cooler time of the year all right my next one is a george off it is bouquet a doll with this one you get cinnamon nutmeg sandalwood uh, a vanilla or cardamom in it. Um, this is a try first fragrance. Um, that's my opinion. I believe that you should try it first. I think that is a gorgeous scent, but then it could be just to the preference of the person. Uh, Cause there's a tobacco blossom in it. And that tobacco to me is not like the pipe, the sweet pipe tobacco. It's more like a tobacco, like a raw tobacco note. So you have to try this one out. The Latterman does help it a lot uh, to balance out, but Bouquet Adal is not one that I would say is blind buy worthy. This is one of the uh, newer ones that I've got in my collection in the past year, and this is Starlight. An amazing scent. Like, I really like Starlight. Uh, the cardamom, the cinnamon, the almond, the clove that's in it. Um, is absolutely amazing. Uh, I wanted to kind of pull the camera up so that you can get a good picture of it. The bottle is absolutely amazing. Like I truly do enjoy this fragrance. It was worth uh, getting it in my collection. It was a blind buy for me because everyone was talking so much about Starlight that I just felt like, okay, well, if everybody likes it and they're saying that I would like it too, then I'm gonna get it. And I'm, I'm happy I did enjoy it. The, for me, I get more almond, cinnamon, and clove and amber in it than I get the cardamom and the cedar. So on my skin, that's what I am pulling. 
and I do enjoy the fact that I don't really get that more like uh, heavy, heavy cinnamon, like heavy, heavy um, cardamom or note in it. I, but I enjoy Starlight. But it's another one that I believe that you should try. This is a try first. All right, we are moving into my woody fragrances. Um, I don't really have a lot of them. I am mostly an argyle wood type person, so you'll find that most of mine are either argyle wood or sandalwood. Uh, my very first one is this one here, and it is called the scent, the sexiest scent on the planet ever. <laughs> that is the name of it. Very long, but beautiful scent. It is a uh, bergamot, woody notes, vanilla, and almond grease. But that woody note in it to me, um, I think is sandalwood. It just basically says woody notes, but I think it's like a sandalwood, argyle wood blend to me. Um, and argyle wood can be what they would call oud. So, but I think it's the sweeter type of oud. I really do like this one. So it is, it is quite sexy. I don't know if it's the sexiest fragrance ever, but it is a sexy scent. My next one is an Amirage and it's called Material. With this one here, you're gonna have an opening of patchouli. And that opening can be scary. So I'm gonna be honest about that. Uh, Cause I, I think it's like an earthy patchouli. But then it's, it, it quickly mellows out to a vanilla benzoin, tonka bean, uh, gourmand goodness. And then like it settles on your skin, you get a little smokiness from the incense, the garlic wood, the um, argyle wood, and the osmanthus. So like a little floral note. Material is 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 good. Out of saying all of the Amirage, and Amirage again is a, is a is a note, is a fragrance house that you have to try. I don't I will never tell anyone to blind buy an Amirage fragrance. My next one is called Sugar Oud, and it's just what it says, right? It's like a sugary, oudy fragrance. The sugariness comes from the passion fruit, the peach. Uh, there's a little uh, lily of the valley in it with some raspberry. So you're thinking, oh, well, this is going to be a really sweet fragrance. Then as soon as it settles, then you get the argyle oud, which is still a little sweet, but it's more oudy notes, and then you get like a... Like every so often you get this whiff of vanilla. The fact that the oud in it is not the more um, animatic oud, but more of a like a cozy oud scent. This is like a huggable scent. Sugar oud to me is like a huggable scent. Works great in cool weather, beautifully in cool weather. And sticking with that house, I'm gonna talk about vanilla a la Cantara, I think is how you say it. And uh, with this one here, it's almost on the same level. You're getting a really uh, gourmand like way of the fragrance. Uh, this one here would have bergamot orange blossom. So it's kind of citrusly based like that, a bright of freshness in the beginning. And then you get this beautiful sandalwood. Oh, this creamy sandalwood with the abroxin, right? So that abroxin kind of gives it, um, what well, I love abroxin. I don't really know how to explain it to someone. You, you, you have to like abroxin. And you also have to like praline because this one does have a praline note to it. It's not as gooey praline as maybe some of my other ones that are in my gourmand section like um, Bon Bon Emily or your New Orleans from uh, City Rhythm is not that level of praline, but there is a praline note to it. Okay, my next one is called More Than Words by Georgiev. More Than Words by Georgiev is just argyle oud in the opening with some fruity notes and some floral notes. It's like a little bit of everything. More Than Words is like a combination of your gourmand, your floral, your fruitiness. Like all of that is happening, all in this fragrance. And then it has this woody base to it and argyle oud. 
so it does have like a a, a standing power uh, power to it but it's such a mixture of everything and i can for me that's where i see a lot of people have a hard time with more than words because it's not floral or fruity or you know woody it's it's just everything like everything thrown in a bottle <laughs> i think that this was there i'm gonna see what it turns out to be type fragrance that's what more than words is to me and to round off the collection is going to be and i'm hoping that it's not a glare it's going to be so amber by montal so amber by montal is rose ambergris saffron sandalwood raspberry white musk and vanilla i actually end up getting this fragrance thinking it was going to be so heavy in amber i was going to love it but every time i wear it it's it it has this woody like um the sandalwood in this one is not like a creamy sandalwood it's almost like a dry sandalwood um and that must that's in it made it lean more to cool weather scents um i probably could put it in amber my section of amber because it has armor grease in it but i believe that it's better in in my more woody section right because of that sandalwood is a dry sandalwood but i truly do enjoy it so these are my woody fragrances along with my spicy fragrances my hope is that you see one that is interesting to you and you decide to try it out well thank you for staying tuned and continuing to watch these videos today we talked about and I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you liked it. Uh, again, if you are interested in some of the other fragrances I may have discussed, inside of the description is the full fragrance collection. It's a playlist that I put together for you. Uh, we're going to keep going. I want to say we have maybe another few videos to go. And then I would officially have talked about my whole collection. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. I always like to ask the question, what do you think I need to add to my collection? Based on the topic we talked about today, what should it inside the comments? What fragrances have I not talked about that you think I need to add? That is my question for you. On that note, I wanna wish you a wonderful night or whenever it was that you got to watch this video. My hopes that you have subscribed and turned on your notifications and I will see you in the next video.